fancy a cup of tea, John? Why, uh, thank you, monsieur. Guess you've finally given up trying to assassinate me. Blah, blah, blah. Now you'll both poison with heartbreak. Are you kidding me, studio? You're gonna kill me off uh, just to, like, you kill off Daniel Craig's bond in no time to die? But there's no way uh, my, uh, death scene can be as emotional as that. There's no way I can possibly top that. <laughs> Who agrees this is no time to die done wrong? Oh, ah, oh, finally it's fucking over. I thought that uh, snooze fest of a conclusion would never end. John Wick chapter snore, directed by Chad uh, Stan Liskey, and uh, is the Forfer and a thank uh, fuck uh, final instalment in uh, the uh, John Wick quad trilogy. Honestly, there was no reason why uh, they couldn't have stopped at three. And after watching uh, this, I wish they had. So, John Wick chapter snob uh, tells the story where uh, we see John uh, played once again by, by Keanu Reeves in his. By Keanu Reeves, and uh, and he is still the world's most wanted hitman, and uh, has the biggest price on his head, and he goes globe trotting this time throughout uh, Japan, and uh, and and even Paris, and and reunites with his adopted uh, sister uh, Kea, and uh, and uh, and little does he know he's uh, walking literally uh, t to his face. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be ranting about a movie with a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, uh, shocking, right? I mean, no idea what movie the critics were watching, but who agrees Shazam Fury of the Gods is still the superior blockbuster to release in March 2023. I mean, I mean, this uh, spring uh, was uh, a spectacular one for movies, for sure. But uh, John Wick Chapter 4 was my least anticipated March release. I mean, because I have never cared for the John Wick uh, series like uh, uh, most uh, moviegoers do. I find them... Uh, uh, extremely cliched, extremely overhyped, and and uh, above all, they are uh, just uh, depressing as fuck, you know? Unlike the James Bond franchise, there, there's no reason to go back to them because they are no fun, and, uh, and uh, as for uh, uh, John Wick uh, Chapter 4, well, John Wick Chapter 3 Parablemum is, I will give it this, is the one decent one of the franchise uh, uh, four years ago, and that uh, would have been the ideal movie to conclude this franchise. But uh, as for uh, uh, Chapter Snore, this is honestly my least favourite John Wick movie, and... Uh, why did John Wick need to, to uh, get to four movies? I have no idea. And yeah, it's one of the most overrated movies of 2023. Sorry. I'm not saying this movie is entirely unfathomable, as uh, at least uh, you have uh, John Wick's uh, adopted sister, Kata. She's the one uh, a tolerable character in the movie. I can see why they would bring his adopted sister into it to try their best to make this a personal send-off for John. And yes, it is uh, glamorous that we get to see, uh, well, uh, several of the world's major sissies in this movie, uh, like uh, Paris. I mean, Paris always looks uh, pretty in any movie, though 
who is with me that the Aristocats and Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald are far superior movies to take place in Paris than this. But uh, now we've finally moved on from the uh, minor positives, let's roast this thing. I mean, uh, I uh, still could not be more disinterested in the character of John Wick. I mean, uh, he's uh, uh, nothing uh, but a, uh, a action man uh, with less personality than the assassins from from Assassin's Creed, and uh, and even even in his fourth outing, he still failed to make me cry for him and make me root for him as an action hero. I mean, uh, he's been underwhelming in two fourth installments in a franchise now. First Duke Kaboom in Toy Story 4 and now this. Ian McShane, Ian, I love you man. Ian McShane, incredible actor but uh, yeah as John Wick's uh, friends here he was seriously just in this movie for a paycheck and uh, as for the main antagonist, uh, the uh, French uh, uh, a uh, villain who drinks a tea. I mean, he is uh, the worst uh, villain uh, in a, in a John Wick movie, uh, bar none. He is nothing but a snobbish uh, aristocrat uh, who uh, uh, never uh, uh, came off as uh, any threats uh, to uh, John Wick, and I mean. Seriously, uh, you uh, could have uh, picked uh, a such a grandiose villain for uh, and a foe for John to a face in his final chapter, and this was the best you could do. Why not have a Saffin type villain and say what you want about Quaritch uh, from the Avatar franchise, but uh, him uh, sipping uh, his uh, tea in his mug uh, was. Uh, far more uh, intimidating in comparison. Also, did I mention uh, this uh, movie is far too fucking long for its own good? I mean, uh, I mean, holy fuck, two hours and 50 minutes watching this movie was uh, so long and so much of a chore uh, to me to get through that it felt like I was, you know, doing a household chore that I just wanted to get over with, like cleaning my room or, or cleaning the bathroom and cleaning the toilet. And even they don't take as long to do as sitting through uh, this uh, uh, draining uh, and uh, seemingly never-ending finale, and people can play no time to die as over long, and uh, how uh, on Earth is nobody criticizing the runtime for John Wick chapter snore. At least no time to die was justified in being two hours forty-five minutes because it knew exactly how to pace a movie like that and was all action. Whereas, uh, I mean, and and plus, no time to die had iconic action scenes that you remember. The action in Chapter Snore here is the same shit we have seen uh, three uh, movies before. Um, I mean, it's uh, just uh, John Wicker being invincible and, and dodging the hitmen that are coming after him, and of course, the infamous No Time to Die rip off ending where they uh, kill off John Wick. Yeah, I, I saw that coming. I mean, and and John Wick's uh, death uh, is uh, not half as uh, powerful as a Bond's uh, sacrifice in No Time to Die. In fact, uh, No Time to Die was able to pull off uh, a, both a happy and sad ending combined. Yes, it's uh, awful that Bond uh, 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 dies, uh, but uh, at least uh, Madeline and Matilde will continue his legacy. Whereas in Chapter Snore, it's all grim. Like, uh, what a downer to to, to end uh, a four-movie saga on. And throughout the entirety of this movie, I was just uh, snoozing on my pillow uh, because uh, I uh, was that uh, bored, uh, shitless, and 
and I wanted to instantly forget about it and uh, think about the movies this year that I uh, loved instead. So overall, a John Wick a chapter snore uh, is, uh, in my uh, highly controversial take, uh, is a uh, uh, is a uh, highly overpraised uh, finale. Uh, I mean, if you uh, were uh, satisfied uh, with uh, this uh, conclusion, nothing wrong with that. Sir. But sir, for me personally, I uh, will I, I will always see this as one of the uh, uh, worst finales to an action movie franchise. But... I give John Wick Chapter Snore one star out of five. Fuck. This movie. Well, it's over. This franchise is finally uh, done. I mean, well, I still need to uh, review, well, the first John Wick for its 10th anniversary in 2024, but until then, I uh, am a uh, Three of uh, this uh, overrated franchise. Uh, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this rant. And what are your thoughts on John Wick Chapter 4? I am uh, sure uh, the vast majority of you will have the polar opposite opinion to me in the comments section. And um, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you next time uh, when. I uh, have more request reviews coming, as uh, well as more reviews and rants to look forward to. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.